And we're back. Here we go. I literally just pressed stop record and then start record. And <laughs> we're back to another part. Uh, and yeah, I didn't have to ask for the paint scheme, guys, because uh, you, you know what it is. It's the legacy paint scheme. Uh, Dale Earnhardt's last win came at Talladega. Arguably one of his best tracks, Talladega. Fan base, Talladega, Alabama, everything. It is just the Earnhardt country here. So we are going to Talladega in the legacy paint scheme. And uh, we are 36 points ahead of Mark Martin. Gordon, still he still has a chance. He just kind of got screwed last race by the caution and his uh, stupid crew chief not pitting him. And then uh, we'll, we'll see how the rest of this goes. So hopefully uh, we just... It, 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 you feel like we should win these plate races, but every plate race this season has been weird because you don't have a lot of time to get to the front, and if there's a checkup or something that happens, it really bogs you down. Uh, you, the the pit stops, there's two pit stops in these races, so that, that could be a problem as well. So These races are very unpredictable, and uh, this one th this one's like our, our, um, our mulligan race. This is one we're supposed to win. This is where we build the gap on Mark Martin in case we have a bad race. This is what I'm going to try to do. We can try to win. Let's see what happens. Welcome to today's NASCAR Winston Cup Series event, the EA Sports 500, live on MRN from the Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama. Racing doesn't get any more exciting than this, Barney. Let me sum it up for you all. 2.6 miles, four lanes, 190 miles an hour. Just doesn't get much better. Let's just hope these guys can stay out of the big one. Elliot Sadler has not had the finishes he would like at the super speedways. I say I really expected him to be better on these tracks than he has been. Maybe this race will turn things around. Kyle Petty has been leaving some on the table in qualifying this season. When you're always starting in the back, it puts extra pressure on the driver and the team. You constantly have to be on your toes looking for that next position and watching out for wrecks. If you qualify poorly, it makes it that much harder to even have a good finish. Dale Earnhardt sure has had a rough time qualifying on these super speedways this year. Well, that's true, but with the importance of the draft here, your starting position isn't quite as important as it is on other tracks. It's all about being in the right line here at the end. Some drivers say it's the low line that moves. Some say the high one is the place to be. And a few even think the middle is the hot spot as long as you've got some drafting help. Hendrick boy is on pole, Mark Martin in P6. So let's get to work. 18 laps, we will have to pit twice. Green flag is out, and I will be very aware of when these guys check up. That's the biggest thing. If we can avoid the checkup, if we just don't have any issues getting to the front, it's fine. But there's one checkup right there. But you know, they, they always, there's some sort of weird incident that happens that spreads up the pack. And uh, that's when it gets a little bit difficult. So. I'm waiting for I'm gonna go all the way down here. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting. Where is it? There oh, there's a there's a little bit of a checkup. I'm I'm breaking the rules a little bit, I know. Oh look at that paint scheme. Look at that paint scheme. NASCAR Cup champion. Oh beautiful. I wish I could rotate around it, but I can't. Alright. Let's uh draft a straighter here. Everyone's they're already spreading out a good amount. I'm going to venture up to the top here. And try to migrate my way through the field. Here we go. Let's go middle three wide. And that's beautiful. Let's go down to the bottom now. Stay in the draft here a little bit. It's beautiful. Up to Pete. No checkup. So th this is exactly how I want this race going. Right behind Matt Kenseth. This has been the calmest start to a plate race we've had this season. And that's good. So now we just kind of be patient. Like everyone's in line. Everyone's behaving themselves. I'm actually going to go down here just in case they check up. And Matt Kenseth is trying to block, but that's not going to happen. All right, this, this is nice. This is beautiful. I love this. Don't know where Matt Kenseth came from to make it three wide, but I'm going to try to get around Bobby Labonte. I want to make it three wide before I get to him. And if we can do that, no, we're not. So I'm not going to take the risk here. I'm actually going to wait. There we go. Oh, uh, wait. No, I can't do it. Hold on. Oh, I just want to keep Bobby away from me. 
Let's try to share drafts a little bit. Can't afford that contact. Oh, he's minus 58. He's not going to hit me. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to try to repair the relationship a little bit, though. You don't want Bobby hating you, you know? We, we had great memories back in 2000. So this has been the perfect race. This has been beautiful. I mean, the pack is still together. It's not spread out. And uh, the, the, I can see the leaders. I mean, this is, this is absolutely wonderful. Uh, we will have to pit here soon, it looks like. Is this race only one pit stop? Seems like it, because... Oh, no, no, it's two. It's We only have 7.0. It's definitely two. I think some guys are already coming down pit road. Looks like Harvick and Petty might be coming. Will they? No, they are not. I thought they looked like they were. 194 miles per hour. Let's pull out here. Beautiful. I have a beautiful run here. We're going to enter the top ten before pit stops. And I think... I, okay, this time I think some people are coming down pit road. Look at this run that we have. Oh my. Everyone's around the bottom here. Who's coming down? Who's coming down? There they go. Gordon, Wallace, with that Kurt Bush as well. We're in the front pack though, so this is beautiful. Oh, little, okay. a little tiny little bump. We're fine. I don't want to damage this car too much. It's a very pretty car. But uh, we're in perfect position here. I could just relax, you know? Let's just stay in the pack. Don't mess up pit road. Hopefully the pit crew doesn't mess up either. And we'll be in a uh, great shape. I'm going to split this evenly. We're lap, we're lap six. We're going to come down this time by. I think there are a good amount of cars coming too. I'm going to just go all the way to the bottom so it doesn't really matter. Yep. Here we go. I'm going to try to get my way up there a little bit. Do, 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 do. Nice. Uh, there we go. Perfect. All right. I see Mark Martin right there. Four tires, everything's good. I'm happy with the car, let's go. All right, we're, we're running the Legacy Paint Team, guys. I can't afford a mistake, come on. If you got a mistake, you're 100% fired. Uh, definitely, absolutely, non-negotiable. You will be fired, so no mistakes. And good job, guys, all right. Just do it one more time for me, because we have one more pit stop to go. There's Mark, there's Sterling, Tony Stewart, and Jimmy Johnson. We will fall in. What, what the? Jimmy, you, you really anger me. I'm going to get right on the back bumper of Tony Stewart. Oh, we're right on that back bumper. Look at that. He's getting a little bit scared. I'm trying to rattle his cage. I'm not trying to rattle the cage, Tony. I'm trying to push him. Let's go. All right, Tony. Can you just make the move? Just make the move? No? Okay. All right. I hate when the AI drivers can't make the move on the other. Look at, look at it. Look, they're just moving all around. He can't do it. He's trying, but he can't do it. All right. Can you do it this time? Come on, Tony. Come on. I'll give you the push. No, no, stay. Keep your foot in it. Keep your foot in it, Tony. Here I come. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Let's get around the back bumper. Let's push him up to Mark Martin. Now, you know what? I did Mark Martin dirty a few races ago. I remember. I remember. I, I made him pretty mad. So, you know what? We're going to help each other. Mar Mark is a great guy. I don't want him to feel like he's going to lose out a championship on a dirty way, you know? I'm going to make sure I help him. And then beat him. So it makes it even worse. That's what I want to do. I want him to feel the pain of another second place finish. Not only in the cha championship, but in this race as well. I just want him to finish second. Over. And over again. And watch us win. It's nice. And that way, if we have any problems with him in future races, he'll be an ally by like 100 points. So we're good. Look at us. It's a two car breakaway. Mark Martin, Dale Earnhardt, Talladega. Let's get that. We're, we're literally going to drive away from the fields for the next five minutes. All clear, buddy. He took the air off my nose. I, I, didn't, I don't appreciate that, Mark. I was trying to help you. Hello. Have you ever seen a Talladega race where first and second are this far apart from the rest of the pack? And they're separated, too. Incredible scenes, honestly. But uh, I'm coming down pit road. We're going to leave Mark Martin out there by himself because I need to come down, fix some of the damage. Uh, you can actually tell by ourselves we're a little bit slower than Mark, just me and him. I have a clean entrance down pit road. Let's come down. If I speed, I will literally throw myself into a wall. So let's not speed here. Beautiful. All right. Let's do this pit crew. No mistakes. You're fired. You are fired. That's what you get. Fifth. When we need the pit stop, you give me a 17.7. What is that? 17.7 when I need you the most 17.7 get Childress on the phone uh, someone get Richard Childress on the phone fire everyone fire the whole picker 
Legacy paint scheme, Talladega. Running P2, trying to catch P1. You give me a 17 second pit. Fire it, fire it. Fire. fire. I want them gone. I don't care if they have families. I don't care. I don't care if they need to put food on the table. Go find another job. Do you make a mistake on pit road? Go find another job. I don't, don't want to hear it. Get out. Here is everyone else. I do not see Mark there. There's Mark. He's up here. Oh, wait. There's one other car up here. That's... Who's that? That's Sterling Marlin. I might need to use Sterling Marlin here to get up to Mark Martin. I'm not sure. I don't think I can catch Martin by myself. No, we can. We will be able to. It's going to be close, but there's Mark. And we are going to get to his back bumper here off turn four. And he's not my friend yet, you know? So, oh yeah, he is. Okay. All right, well, we're going to share drafts with him a little bit more. This is for the win. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who brought out the caution? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm yourselves. Calm yourselves. We have to go for the win here. Oh, what a move. Earnhardt on Mark Martin. Coming to the checkered flag because the race is going to end. Oh, my goodness. Mark is trying to come back. It's Mark versus Earnhardt. 1-2 in the championship standings. It's going to be Dale Earnhardt. The fans roar. Earnhardt country. And we win in the legacy paints. I was not expecting. I was literally waiting for the last lap. <laughs> I was waiting for the last lap. I just heard, and the caution is out. I'm just like, what? Caution's out. There, that's the caution. But we got in the lead just in time. Thank God the caution didn't. Co it came out on the back straightaway, not the front straightaway. So I had time to make a run and make a pass. But uh, we will win. I should come down pit road and ruin it all, right? I'll do it. No, I'm kidding. I'm not doing it. <laughs> And we win at Talladega under caution, sadly. I, you know, it's not how I wanted to do it, but I take it, I guess. I mean, Earnhardt Country is absolutely going crazy. And uh, I, I can't really get smoke in the tires, though. Wait, can, we, can we get some smoke in here? No? Uh, how about now? Okay. I, oh, there we go. Yay. All right, I just want to go to Victory Lane. See you later, guys. That's what I like to see. Legacy paint scheme on top of the car. See, that's that's beautiful. Okay. That that's that's just brings a tear to my eye. This entire series would have just been stupid if I didn't win this race. Like this is the one race I had to win in that in that paint scheme. I, if I didn't win it, it would just it, it would have been very bad to say the least. But uh, we got the job done. Beautiful. And you know what, Mark Martin, congratulations on your second place finish, man. Look at that. I mean, we're great friends now. And, uh, I wish this was a thing, by the way. Incredible. And now we check the standings. It is a 30... He led the most laps, that's why. So, it's still the same. 36 points. Uh, so we're, we're keeping Mark. It's a two-way race to the end. But I just, I just want him, I want him to taste it. You know, just get, get the taste of that championship you've never had. And let me win it for an eighth time. Because we're greedy like that. So that's what we're going to do. I'll see you guys later. Hope you have a great day. Pick the paint scheme for the Kansas race. It's, we're, we're retiring the legacy paint scheme. That one is done. So goodbye, legacy paint scheme. I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having a great day. Comment down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.